Right guys, I'm not long up. I've just received a long awaited parcel. <laughs> Good morning guys, I've just received a parcel of my art supplies, so what I'm going to be doing today, I'm no longer up, so once I get ready, but once, once I get ready, what I'm going to be doing today is to show you what I got, that I ordered online, with my art supplies, anyway, let's get uh, washed and shaved, well, been shaved, but let's get washed and uh, ready, and I'll get on with this art. It's gonna be good. see guys I have lots and lots of good goodies for my art so let's get on with it let's see what I've got hey guys <laughs> I got ready I, I put my painting gear on because straight after this I am going to be painting some uh, fish paintings that I'll show you, I'll probably show you a clip of me uh, start redoing my, my fish paintings. So, anyway, before I start, you should subscribe to my channel if you want a lot of tips uh, related to selling your artwork or painting your artwork, blah blah blah. So, you should subscribe now and don't miss any tips at the end of this vlog. You should see what's on the next vlog. So, wait and see what's uh, coming up. But, anyway. What I've re tried to reiterate to you on many uh, vlogs is the example that I've got here. You should always, once you start selling quite a few paintings, you should always try and reinvest your monies back into your art business. Once your uh, domestic bills are all paid, you should always try and reinvest, reinvest back into your uh, business, your, your art business. I can't reiterate that enough because when I first started, I used to just squander the money away, and it never, it never worked. I was struggling to buy art materials and etc. Blah blah blah. So there's a nice. That's your first tip of the day. <laughs> Always try and reinvest some of your monies back. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with today's haul, which I am <laughs> excited about. Now, first of all. I got, I decided to get, uh, this, this is the very first uh, time that I bought this, it's, uh, it's drawing gum if you can have a look at that, oh, it's a bit bright there, <coughs> there you are, what's the make of it, it's Peebo, Peebo is a really good make, I think I've got another Peebo there as well, uh, of art, art materials, but there you are guys. This is a uh, Arabic gum. It's, uh, it's for blanking out uh, spaces on your watercolor, or uh, it could, any type of painting, oil painting, whatever. You blank out uh, a piece of the canvas that you do not want the paint uh, to cover, and that's the very first time. I need to sort this, this light in it, guys. Just give me a minute. Hey, guys, I moved the tripod out. That's a bit better. There you are. It's uh, from the make Pebe, I think it's Pebeo or Pebeo. Let me have a look, see what you think. But that's the gum Arabic, it's liquid. And it's a kind of bluey colour as you can see. So I decided to get one of them because I want to do a painting of... Uh, it's a wildlife shot I need and there's a lot of brambles in it and branches and uh, things taken off. Uh, it's the stalks, the stalks of the bramble bush. I need to uh, blank these out before I start painting the, the, the wildlife in. So I need this Arabic gum to do that and I thought, oh well, I'll try it first time. So once I, once I do that painting, I'll let you have a look at my results. 
but that, I think that cost me, I think it was $12.99. All these things that I've got are off, off eBay, guys. So, there you are, Gamma Arabic, that's the first item. Next. Next one is the pastels. As you can see, guys, there's the price there. $3.99, so these are soft pastels. Not light. Now, the soft pastels is like uh, chalk, it's like chalk. So I, I do a lot of, you see me sitting at the desk there, uh, all these hair paintings that's on the desk was done by these chalk, chalk uh, uh, the soft pastels. They call them soft pastels, but they're actually chalk, you know what I mean? Uh, there's the colours on the backs, guys. But there you are, £3.99, £4 for uh, a pack of 20 soft soft pastels. So these, because I want to start doing pastels again, uh, I've been selling quite a few pastel paintings on eBay as well, so I thought I'd get a pack of these, three to nine. these are from the works. Uh, you get the works on eBay as well. Next. So, oh, guys, I've got two. So, I've got two, two packs, two packs of pas pastels. Uh, it only cost me eight pounds, seven pound ninety eight for those two. Uh, the next one, it's my receipt. The bill, bill's paid. Uh, next one is from that Make Again Peebo, as you can see. There you are, and this is a, it's a pastel fixative. This fixes your pastels, guys. I've never ever tried this one as well, so I'm going to try that because, as you know. Pastel drawings, chalk, the chalk rubs off if you touch them. So you ruin your painting if you manhandle it or uh, put something on top. So this is a fixative so that it's just like a, a pastel varnish really. It's a, uh, you spray it on, once, once your paint is done you spray it on and it fixes the chalk in so that you can touch touch it. So this is going to be really uh, good. I think I, I, I paid about 14 99 for that. I'll put all the prices on the screen here so that you can see uh, exactly how much each item is. But I'm only guessing just now because you know what my memory is like. But that's a spray, see? It's a spray. So that one is a fixative for uh, pastel paintings. Next. Now, one of my favourite <laughs> artists that I love, he puts me to sleep sometimes is Bob Ross and I'm sure that a lot of you out there will agree with me that he is he's one of the masters of the gems of uh, the painting world and uh, his, his, his programs are actually on the TV at the moment and channel uh, BBC 4 HD I think it is at 7pm so I've been watching those every night and it put me in the mood because he keeps on talking about uh, the liquid clear so what I did was I went online and I bought a tin of his liquid clear as you can see there guys and this is an old, old tin as I can see on the top look it's got some rust on it so this is from his old stock uh, I think this was expensive I think that I paid about 17 99 for that but as before I'll put the price the real the price in there so there you are this is liquid clear I've never ever tried so there's a lot of these items I've never tried before so I'm experimenting with them but uh, this is it's just like a clear varnish uh, and you, if if you want to see how this really works, go to Bob Ross's videos, <laughs> and it's quite simple. He'll, he'll show you exactly how this works. But once again, once I get this up and running, and I try it out for the first time, I'll let you guys know uh, what my results are. But I thought I'd try that. There's his face there. Look, or Bob Ross. I've got a lot of Bob Ross uh, brushes and uh, knife palettes that I buy off eBay. Uh, they're, they're pretty expensive, like, but there's one thing I can say about it. The last, the last few years, I've still got my, my supply of Bob Ross. I've got the, as I says, I've got the Palais knife. I've got umpteen brushes. I've got the fan brushes. In fact, there's one fan brush there. I'll just bring it over. You can see how old it is. Look at that. You can see how 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 well used that is. That's a Bob Ross uh, fan brush. So. I'm still using that. I think I bought that about maybe six years ago. But I, I use that a lot for my wildlife, so 
I would I recommend any Bob Ross stuff like you pay that bit extra but as as my mother used to say you only get what you pay for so now next one is a painting set. This is a Royal Lang Nickel. Is it Rang Lang Nickel? It's a painting set. It's a, this one's the acrylic one. I'll look through there. One's I think one the other one's watercolour. But there you are, it's all sealed up. Look. But that's a Royal Nicole Nicole. Lang Nickel. Lang Nickel. I can't even pronounce that. But this is a painting set. I wanted to try this out as well. Because I've run out of uh, a lot of my acrylics. So I thought it would be better just buying a set. No, I mean I think this was $14.99. Not bad, eh? I think it was $14.99 up to it was $16.99. But as it says, prices will be below. Anyway, that's an acrylic travel set. And what I do guys, because I've had a uh, similar item before, it's a wooden box with a handle. And uh, what I do is once I finish the paints inside. I put a wee bit of canvas on the top cover there and I paint a fish on it and I sell it to the fisherman as a fishing tackle box because it opens up, see it's got it's got latches. But as you can see Sorry about that guys. <laughs> the memory card ran out. I forgot to check again. I do that much filming during the day. I was filming uh, what I painted yesterday, so as I was saying to you, I usually make these boxes into kind of gift boxes if you if you would like to think uh, uh, by painting on the lid as I said so uh, that's a this is a great set I can tell straight away I've had, I've had I think I've had the odd tube of this paints before look I can remember seeing them in my uh, paint box but you get brushes and everything in, in here guys you get two brushes you got all the paints uh, so once once I open this up I'll let you see, I'll probably do another review of these boxes, but I've got that one, as I says to you, I've got the watercolour one as well, as I says to you, it's all reinvesting my money I made off paintings back into my business, you got to do it because you'd run out of paints and whatever, so that's another one, there's a, what's inside that one, the brushes and the paints, and I've tried these paints before the Royal Lang Nickel. Is it what? Lang Nickel. Lang Nickel. So, this is another box. This one, I'll put a bit of canvas on the lid. I'll glue it on and I'll paint a fish and I'll sell this to this empty box to the fisherman. Yeah, you could put flowers or anything on it, make it in as I say, as a jewelry box. So, I got two of these gift, these uh, paint sets, guys. $14.99 each, I think they were. So that's a good part of the haul there. Next is this is one thing that I've been buying for a long time, uh, guys. Well, for about maybe six months. Is uh, it's a Dealer and Rowney watercolor pack, and as you can see, there is what is it there? Fifty. There's fifty sheets inside here, and I've probably told you this before, guys, but. I used to buy a pack of 12 like this and it would cost me 7 99 6 99 7 99 or maybe up, upwards to a 10 or know what I mean but this guys you would never believe this this has a uh, this pack cost me what was that 14 99 I know that for a fact because I seen the bill the, the, just yesterday 14 99 for a pack of 50 guys so you should go online and, and uh, check that out. Uh, um, I think this one, I think this one uh, is about my sixth pack of this. Six times fifty. That's how many paintings I've done uh, in the six month period. But uh, it's a pack of fifty, guys. You should order it because in the long run, it's uh, economical. Uh, but there again, if you don't do many paintings, the pack of twelve is fine. You know what I mean? So, but. I want to be economical and I want to, to paint as much paintings as I can. I love painting, you see, so if I ever got any spare minute of the day, I start painting. Now, this is the last of my haul. It takes up most of the box space, as you can see. <coughs> and it's box canvas. It's no, no box canvases, it's uh, canvas on boards. You've seen me 
buying this before guys but I bought 30 a pack of 30 there's three in each pack so I bought 30 all in this is what the box was heavy with so the canvas boards a pack of 30 cost me 30 quid uh, from the works because if you buy it especially in a bulk order like that you get it cheaper and you get free postage as well that's why that other uh, haul there I managed to get it free postage because I bought so much stuff uh, from eBay you know what I mean so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and as I says to you this whole vlog anyway and as I says to you you should subscribe if you want more tips and ideas and uh, traditions and whatever to my channel and as I says to you at the end of this vlog I would tell you what was coming on the next vlog which is very exciting it's about it goes on to when I used to before the lockdown when I went to the charity shops for my uh, antique stock my collectibles etc etc there's a treasure find that I found in one of my favorite charity shops and on this next vlog you're gonna see exactly <laughs> what uh, treasure I found in the antique shop remember um, remember a, a couple of vlogs back I was showing you all my jewellery that I use, the pearls and whatever, for my Tudor paintings. I re refer to them for uh, painting the jewellery on the Tudor paintings. This next item, as you're going to see a wee clip there, is one of the, the parts of the, the jewellery that I picked up in the charity shop and it was for my Tudor paintings. Little did I know what I had bought. But anyway, <laughs> subscribe so you won't miss this next episode. Have a look at this. Hey guys, I hope this was a wee bit different for you. I had to do this haul because it was such a large haul that I got. That I wanted to share it and show show you what a uh, type of art supplies and materials that I buy uh, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and remember the next vlog is going to be about that treasure so uh, don't miss it but I hope you enjoyed it and anyway I'll say goodbye to now but just now I'm going to show you a couple of clips as well uh, the fish paintings that I started so just uh, just just to let you see <laughs> the type of fish paintings I do. But anyway, stop the boiling calm because you're boiling on too much. You've run out of one memory card, so let's go. Bye bye for now. Peace. <laughs> Next time, it's going to be even better. <laughs>